Topping news tonight, FTX Digital Markets Limited is an entity of the FTX Group regulated in the Bahamas. The FTX Group and affiliates all now appear to be subject to insolvency proceedings pending in the nation's capital and the United States. Prime Minister the Honorable Philip Davis stating during his communication on the collapse of FTX that the entity's registration is suspended and placed in provisional liquidation. Following reports that the FTX Group has mismanaged customer assets, numerous investigations were launched into those allegations and actors in several countries, including the Bahamas' Securities Commission and the Financial Crimes Investigation Branch. The Prime Minister making it clear today in the House of Assembly that the Bahamas did not have sole oversight of FTX's worldwide operation. A key priority for, for us, of course, is to full an absolute protection of the rights and remedies of the Bahamas and our citizens to minimize losses and to mitigate the overall impact caused by any misconduct. Madam Speaker, there have been both booms and busts in the world of crypto. This year has been a significant bust. The Prime Minister says he has given instructions for the proceedings and investigations to be of the highest order and given precedence. I have every confidence that the Bahamas will emerge from the proceedings involving FTX, proceedings taking place here as well in other, as in other jurisdictions. With an enhance, the Bahamas will emerge. With an, with an enhanced reputation as a solid digital asset jurisdiction. Based on the analysis and understanding of the FTX liquidity crisis to date, the Prime Minister says they have not identified any deficiencies in the Bahamas' regulatory framework that could have avoided this. In fact, he says it was because the Bahamas already had in place a regulatory framework for digital assets and digital asset businesses that the regulator was able to take immediate steps to protect the interests of clients, creditors and other stakeholders globally. The Bahamas already on track to update the regulatory framework before year's end to address lessons learned as a result of this year's crypto winter. No doubt as the various jurisdictions involved unraveled the actions that led to this moment we will be among the first jurisdictions to gain and put to use valuable insights. The nation's leader concluding the communication on FTX by asking those who care about the country's reputation to tread carefully when speaking on matters that are complex and is still unfolding. This is a story that has the world's attention and those who use it to eat and score tea political points are no patriots. So I invite all of us, as I've said, <coughs> just to tread carefully.